3.8 million sports-related concussions are reported each year. But what is a concussion exactly? When most people hear the word concussion, they think of this. Three point eight million may seem like a lot, but concussions are often underreported because many people think you can only get a concussion if you're knocked out. The force of all the hits a player takes during one game equals the force of being in a car crash. Symptoms of a concussion include headache, loss of balance, change in sleep patterns, memory loss, depression, and nervousness. When checking for a concussion, you want to check the player's pupils to make sure they are equal in size and reactive to the light. You should ask simple questions to determine the extent of cognitive damage. If you are not sure if a player has a concussion, the CDC says, when in doubt, sit them out. Prevention of concussions starts with equipment. This is the helmet. It is arguably the most important piece of equipment a football player wears. It protects the head from injuries because when a player is hit, the force of the hit is absorbed and spread throughout the helmet to lessen the force. This is the mouthpiece. It goes in the mouth between the teeth. It has not been proven to prevent concussions, but has been known to help. When a player is hit from under the jaw, it absorbs the shock and lessens the blow to the head. This is the chin strap. It goes under the chin and connects to each side of the helmet, keeping the helmet secure on the head. And last but not least, as far as head protection goes, this is the cowboy collar. It protects the head by keeping the neck from going all the way back. Concussions are not always obtained from one big hit. Most of the time, they are caused from the many small hits the players take throughout the game. Before a player with a concussion is returned to the game, they should be cleared by a medical professional. Football clips are courtesy of the Buckeye Trail High School football team, and I would like to say a special thanks to Tyler Neely and Mason Conrad for helping me make this video.